Welcome to the homework for lesson seven. This is first grade, module two. Get your name on there first. And we're going to draw, these are all word problems here. We're going to draw first, label our picture, and circle to show how we make 10 to solve. And here's an example of drawing here, this one, this is sum to 11, it's 8 plus 3, it's labeled, and then 10 are circled to make it a 10 plus 1. And we're going to write out the number of sentences that we use to solve it. They're already kind of written out for us, so we just have to finish them. Meg gets 8 toy animals and four toy cars at a party, how many toys does Meg get in all? So we need eight toy animals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four toy cars. One, two, three, four. Um, it's easier to add to the larger group. So eight needs nine, ten, Two more to make ten. Oh, we got to label these, right? These are the animals, and these are the cars. There. A for animals and C for cars. <clears throat> so we have the eight plus four was our story. The eight animals and the four cars. But we look at this, it's a ten, two, which is twelve easier to add 10 plus 2 than 8 plus 4. They're both 12. Meg gets 12 toys. Number 2. John makes 6 baskets in his first basketball game and 8 baskets in his second. How many baskets does he make altogether? So 6 baskets in his first game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's his F for first game. And then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in his second game. Easier to take this 8 here and loop in 2 from the first game. So there's our 10, and we can see there's 4 left, so it's going to be 10 plus 4. Well, we started with 6 baskets and 8, right? And then we're looking at, now we're looking after we circle, we're looking at 10 and 4. 10, 4 is 14. So 6 plus 8 is 14. John makes 14 baskets. Number 3. May has a party. She invites 7 girls and 8 boys. How many friends does she invite in all? So we need 7 girls. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven. Girls, G for girls. Boys, we need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. B for boys. And by now you know, if you've got eight in one group, you need two in the other, because that's how they've all been so far. They've all had eights in them, and we've been looping in those two. So we started out with seven girls and eight boys. Now we have a larger group of 10, and that's the group that we circled, 10, and there's 1, 2, 3, there's 5 outside of it, 10, 5, 15, and that's so 7 plus 8 is also 15, because it's the same number of circles that we drew, the same number of friends, so she invites 15 friends. Just easier to count is 10 5, then 7, plus 8. Alec collects baseball hats. He has 9 Mets hats and 8 Yankees hats. How many hats are in his collection? Okay, so he has 9 Mets hats. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? I should be drawing ten frames here. That's what I should be doing. So nine is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are M 
Parker Mets hats. And the Yankee hats, he has eight of those. One, two, three, four, five. One, six, seven, eight. These are Yankee hats. And now you could... I Usually what I do is I, I'll take the larger group and add a smaller amount to it to make ten. But if you'd rather take the eight and loop in two more, because we've been doing that again and again, you can. But this time I'm going to take the nine and take one of these. So we had we started out with nine Mets hats and eight Yankee hats. But now we have a ten group, right? Look, there's a nine plus. There's a nine plus. As we've been practicing that every other time so far. So it's like a vitamin. Here it is again. That's a nine plus eight, so it's really a ten plus seven, isn't it? And here's an example of it right here. It's a ten. That's a ten group. And here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A 9 plus 8 is a 10, 7. So that's 10, 7 is 17. They're both 17, and he has 17 hats.